Hi, this is Brenda Kyle, and I own the shop My Baby Shower Shop, and this video is for our team called Party Supplies. All Etsy teams are managed by independent shop owners and are not employed by Etsy. I just want to share the uh, a series of helpful videos. This is for Etsy Team How to How To Guide. The series is adding a shop to a Facebook page. This video assumes your team has a Facebook page established. The steps in the video will also work for individuals to add an Etsy shop to their personal Facebook feed or directly to a Facebook team page. And this is with the Facebook page that I created for our team party supplies. It's also a party supply resource guide because there's so many that's going to be established on there. Begin by logging into your Etsy account and click on your name. This will bring up your personal profile. Scroll down to your teams. I'm going to click on the party supplies team. And then I want to scroll down to view all of the team members. So hit view all. And that allows you to see all of them. Open a second internet window and type in facebook.com. Log into your account. If you own the Facebook page, you're just going to go under Pages and click on, example, Party Supplies. This will take you to the admin section of the Facebook page with the dashboard of tools at the top. Otherwise, you're just going to go to your Facebook page that you like, which would be your team page. Scroll to the Status section. This is where we're going to paste the shop link. In your first internet window with Etsy, click on the team member shop you want to add and make sure you're following that person. That was the follow button underneath their profile picture. Review their shop description. And then on the keyboard in the window, click Control C to copy the link for their shop. In the meantime, you can scan through their products and determine what all they offer. That way it's going to help you describe that information in the Facebook page status box. Click back on the open internet window with Facebook, scroll down to status and paste the link on the keyboard. Control V will paste it. Now it automatically pulls the shop information and displays the featured photos along with the, any description that the person already has for their shop. And I'm just going through using the arrow buttons to choose the picture that I want to display with their shop. Once I select that picture, it'll save it. Now I can go in, in, in front of the link and type in some details about the shop, the shop owner, and any details on what this shop sells. Try to be more story-like and personal rather than a sales pitch. So you want to pinpoint who the products are for. That helps somebody decide whether that's the shop that's for them, depending on the event that they're trying to fulfill or the product that they desire to, to purchase. So any details you give there, just try to be kind of search-friendly with simple words that point that out, but at the same time sounds personal. Be sure to establish Etsy shop and then the shop name as well as the shop owner when that's available. I always include whether the shop ships everywhere or whether it's limited to a certain state or a certain just United States or just a certain country. You can specify just by looking under their shipping policy in Etsy and then you can include that information here. Switch back to the internet window with the Etsy shop to view the shop items again if you need to do that. I also review the different categories that they sell from. That helps to describe it better. And I can just go back to my Facebook status and add that additional information that I located. Once you have all that typed in. Make sure everything looks good on there. And then you can hit enter to, to post that Etsy shop on your team's page.
I'm just going back to the Etsy shop and looking at all their categories. This is going to, again, just help me describe available products that they offer. It also shows the number of products that are in their shop. So I'm just finishing that up. At, again, just showing that you add the Etsy shop name in the description in the status section. Even though it shows it below, I want it in the description as well because it helps the search engine find it. When you complete it, click enter, post it to the page, and at the same time it posts to your fa Facebook feed, news feed. And as you can see, this is the news feed, and the Etsy shop is post posted now in the feed where any of our follower followers can view it. And then this is what it looks like. But sometimes you're going to run into an issue when you copy and paste that shop link onto the Facebook page. It does not pull the pictures. So you have to go into that person's shop, select the image that you want, right-click the mouse to choose Save Image As, save it in your Download File section. Just name it whatever you want to name it. That way you can find it again. So I'm just naming the file, the image file name. Now it's downloading that picture. Now I can go back to the Facebook page, click photo video, click photo video. This is going to select upload photo video. Now you're going to select the file that you saved of that picture from that person's shop. So once you find it, just click on the file name, and it's going to start uploading it to the Facebook page, and you can see it, you can see it's uploading this, this photo now, and then once it's done, it displays the photo, and again, you just go back through those steps of adding the description of the shop. This is the team Facebook page with Etsy shops posted displaying in the news feed. So this is what it's going to look like once you post a shop there. And this is the information as far as our, we have a, a, a team blog called Party Supplies Etsy Team on WordPress.com. Click on How To to see additional tips, guides, videos, and more information that will help any team on Etsy. Thank you.